like, like and subscribe. This week we're going to be looking at the Velocity Pro Gear van bag. Let's get into it. What's up guys? Parts Plumbing. How's it going? I haven't seen you for a little while. Um, just been busy doing bits of work, bits of uh, business stuff. Um, building a couple of new websites, got a new sort of new business thing sort of launching soon. Um, more info on that later on. I think this uh, lockdown time has given me um, a lot of time to think really basically. You know, Just like things like how can I sort of steer my business to make money if there is, if there are events like this in the future, you know, um, if I'm not realised that if I'm not working, I'm not earning money. So, you know, I've been having a few thoughts on that and just sort of blocking myself away in my office and things like that. But sort of slowly coming back to work, doing a few more emergencies now. Um, before, you know, like a few weeks ago when we were a bit uncertain or uh, sort of shying away from it. But now I'm... Now I'm back and I'm, I'm doing a few bits, probably about, probably do about four or five jobs a week, but it's something in it. So I think this week, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to review, I'm going to do my first review, unboxing YouTube style. So I've got a Velocity Rogue van bag, which I'm going to be looking at. So I'm going to get this breakfast down me and uh, I'll see you after that. Whoa out today. Hey, and don't watch the COVID hairstyle either. Need to get that cut. <laughs> hey, before I start, I better, uh, I better tidy this van out. I got a really shitty comment off somebody on the, on my van tour video. So I better get it tidied out. And it is, it is looking a bit rough like, but this is a commenter. This one's for you, all right. All right, so here we are in the van. This is him in the van. So this is the Rogue Velocity 1.5, the Rogue. Um, sits perfectly on the seat, you know. First thing to point out, nice thick zips, just like you get on Vito. Um, extra heavy duty stuff. So if we unzip that, then the back flap opens up to sit at the back of your seat. Now, the way that it sits on there, compared to the Sortimo, which you saw on my van tour, um, it just doesn't look as bulky, does it really? You know, it were enormous. It just got in my way every time I tried to move across the van or something, you know, I'd catch it. It'd be rattling around, you know, it was made of wood, things like that. No good, so I got rid of that. So, let's pay attention to how it actually attaches to your van. Now the Sortimo one had like a seat belt arrangement, which were just an absolute pain in the ass. So if our lass or whatever wanted to come with me, um, if I want to drop her off or something, then I had to take it, I had to remove the seat belt and stuff and oh god it were a pain in the ass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it actually latches on. So this is the catch. So on the other Sortimo one it was like a seat belt arrangement that went round which were just no good. It was just impractical. Terrible. So this thing clips round. It's got a uh, like a strap all the way back. What it does then, it allows the lid of the bag to lift up. Rest that on there. This is a magnetic catch. So what that does then, it finds its way home and holds it in place. Brilliant. Nice one, Rogue. Uh, nice one, Velocity. Fantastic, that. So when you want to, uh, at the end of the day or whatever, just pull up the catch. It says me. And that's it, and that's it gone. Brilliant design. I've never seen anything like that before, especially with the magnetic clips. So, yeah, if that's an original design to you guys, that's off to you. The back of it. There's a space here, and in fact, let's go right to the back of it. Take that latch off again. So on the back pouch here, that rests up against the seat, keep it nice and flat. There's room for your laptop here. I've got my iPad. I don't really take it much anywhere, but when I do, you know, I know it's safe in that box there. I might have shot here. And that goes nicely in the back of there. Nice tough design, good Velcro. Like I said, I do like how it keeps it flat. 
hook. On the back here, room for notebooks, notepads, invoicing pads if that's what you if that's what you guys do. I, everything's paperless for me. So you know at the back here I'll probably keep a couple of guides. Um, so that'll be Worcester guide there. And the valent book with all the fault codes in because uh, there's bloody too many of them to remember. Keep them in there nicely. Nice felt code strap again. Pen holders, Pika pen there, Sharpie, I've lost it. Really good, nice, solid made. Just looks really professional. Down to the butt, uh, down to the front, we have a nice solid pad, shall we say? So that lifts up. So what I'd probably suggest for that is uh, leaning on things, writing. So if you've got like a pad, invoice pad or something, you can lean on there, you can write on it. Nice solid pair. Little resting pad there, I like it. So in here, we have three sections. So one like a cup holder section, got a middle section, which is quite a big actual opening. And then we've got this one at the end here. So this one at the end here is like a little sandwich bag. So it's got like a foil insert. Velcro bottom. So what that is there, you put your like, it's a little cool box, I do believe. Put your sandwiches in there or a drink or something, keeping it nice and cool. What I'm keeping in there at the minute, COVID style, wipes, gloves, mask. You know, they're things that I'm using on the day to day at the minute, so they're staying in there with me. Middle section. Nice big opening. I've seen people using tools, things like that, you know, keeping sort of like grab uh, tools in there. I keep my camera bag in there. So this is like a little bag, it's got a battery, um, GoPro accessories, things like that in there. So you know I'm a full-time superstar YouTuber now, I have to keep all my stuff in one place, so you know, keeping like camera things in there is, you know, it's perfect. I've got my bigger camera over there, that can go in one of these sections. But like I say, the best thing about this bag is you can take it in on a night. You know, you don't have to be keeping it in your bag, it's not too much of a ball ache to take it out. So that's one of the the massive pros of this bag. Section at the front here, so this is for your cup holders. Um, you can get like a coffee cup in there, Velcro at the side, in the middle. So what I like about this bit, little support pad here. So if you do have a coffee cup, just turn it around and put it whichever side you want there. So if you do have a coffee cup, like me, every day, three times a day, you can rest it in there. Any other time, you put your normal juice box, uh, normal water bottle in there. Keeps it nice and secure while you're driving. Great design. If you're a gym bro, then you can put a protein shaker in there quite easily. Does a good job. Proper sweating, it's red hot. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, in there, here up in Wakefield, it is roasting, especially in this black van. Straps here, hold things down. Little bits of uh, like fittings or something, you know, like um, speed fit caps or something, you know, that you could be using. Another little feature as well that I've seen that I don't know if it's a design fault or what. Not, okay, rephrase that. I don't know what it's for. There's a little zip on the side here that opens out. But the zip has no handle, and it looks like it's facing the wrong way. So I really don't. I, I think is it designed as a secret zip? You know, to hide things in there. I don't know, but either way, it looks practical. But in my opinion, it should have had some kind of like easier access on there. Put this lid down, and it can be zipped up. brought with you into house at the end of the day. It's a great design. These handles as well, you see here, very, very strong, much like Vito, like really strong rubber. It also comes with a shoulder strap, if you're that way inclined, but for me, no, nah, I'd just rather carry it, to be honest. So, that's it. So, the Velocity Pro Gear, Rogue 1.5, van bag. My opinion, fantastic, great bit of kit. Be definitely using this um, going forward. Um, 
hats off to the guys over at Glossy. I'm not sponsored by the way, you know, I bought this, you know, and it really will be staying with me. Alright guys, so this is my first review, unboxing kind of thing. If you like it, smash like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers! So fucking annoyed.